So what is it like buying a $100 mouse? No, this isn't mine. My friend bought this because he's crazy enough to spend $100 on a mouse, and I'm not, nor do I have the funds to, but it looks pretty cool and so does the box, so let's get into it. Hey, what's up guys? My name is JD from JD Tech Gear and welcome back to the channel. Remember, if you want to see more videos like this where we do tech reviews, unboxing, setup design, and PC passion, consider subscribing and becoming part of the Tech Junkie family. So today, we're going to unbox and slightly review. We're going to kind of do first impressions of this insane mouse from RAT or R-A-T. Mad cats, mad cats. That's that's what it is. So uh, let, let's let's go over the features of what this thing has. Okay, it's got a DPI of twelve thousand. Let let that sink in just for one minute. Uh, acceleration of fifty G. That's intense. A frame rate of twelve thousand. So if I use this mouse, I'll get twelve thousand FPS. A left and right mouse button. Always need that. But anyways, let's get into unboxing this awesome box. The Rat Eight from Mad Cats. All right, so let's get into this. We got the knife, we got the box. All right, so let me know what you guys think of this top-down view kind of unboxing so you get more into the experience of the unboxing. So let me know if you guys like that. I love stickers. Oh. Oh, baby. Holy smoking Toledo's. Look at that baby. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what a $100 mouse looks like. Maybe it does something. Oh, wait, we got more in the box here. Wow, even the bags that are included with this thing are nice. Okay, so they give you some other modular pieces to attach to it. All right, I'm gonna try to figure out this mouse and we'll be right back. Okay, so after spending some time with the mouse and getting to know what everything does, let's go over what the physical features are like on this mouse because it's ridiculously modular. Left, right, mouse clicking. Um, this is your profiles right over here. You got your DPI, your scroll wheel, side scroll wheel, your sniper button which slows down the DPI so that you can make smooth shots. There is a, uh, a meter over here showing you which DPI you're on, which is pretty nice to have, of course. So first off, there's a tool here that you use to change up the mouse. It's right here, and you simply just unscrew it and pull out, and this is the tool you're gonna use for the entire uh, mouse. Okay, so you'll see we have, um, these are called the palm rest, and then you can have the all full matte palm rest here, the grippy palm rest, and then we have different uh, pinky rest here. So we have a grippy one and then a wing uh, pinky rest as opposed to this one. What you can do here is you can use this to adjust the width of the mouse and also swapping out the different um, thumb and pinky rests. We'll start with the uh, the palm rest here. There's a little button right here that you push in and you literally slide this on a track. And there's little notches over here that shows you where you're exactly going. So that's like fully extended. Yeah, you can swap this, but you can also change the width of the mouse. So the way you do this, you'll see there's a little screw in here and this all in one tool, you kind of just loosen that up and this thing sits on a hinge which you can expand to whichever width you like. What we can also do is switch out the weights down here. And the way you do that is you unscrew this little knob over here and you pull that out and all the weights right down over here come out. We're going to move on to actually swapping out the pinky rest because I really like the pinky rest that has the wing attachment. So as you can see, this thing looks kind of crazy. So you have your pinky rest on the slope over here and then your ring finger rests right above it right there. And then you have your, your thumb right there and you literally have like no contact with the mouse pad or the surface your mouse is against. It's pretty awesome. And you can slide this off and switch out the palm rest, but yeah. So that's the fully modular system. Let's plug this thing in and see how it plays. So first I want to talk about the software this mouse comes with because I feel like this is a major component of the mouse itself just because of how insane this software is. The amount of functionalities and customizability that you can implement into this mouse almost makes it like a fully functioning keyboard for Word. You can create that many shortcuts. You can make all these different presets for different games when you want to load up different presets. You can change the time interval on the heartbeat effect of the certain type of lighting effect that you want 
and every individual color on the on the mouse i mean there's just so much customizability it's insane it's almost overwhelming and this is what the heartbeat effect looks like in the flesh and these are just some of the colors we chose and the lighting accents are quite nice they're not too overwhelming they're just right and suit the mouse very well oh and did i mention that the software that this mouse comes with actually has a multiplier for the dpi setting of four so you can max out the dpi at 48,000 which is so fast that when I was playing in full screen mode, I have two monitors, it was so fast that it was actually registering the mouse on the other screen. So after messing around 48,000 DPI, we set it back down to 3,200, which is still more than plenty, but this gave us a true feel what the mouse was like. It's buttery smooth, it's highly accurate, and it's a just complete joy to play with. I mean, it's one of the heaviest, actually it is the heaviest of the entire Rat series from Mad Cats. So I really like the heavier mouse because it makes my shots more accurate and the movements are more smooth. And the bottom of the mouse is actually uh, metal. So it has a metal base plate. So it makes it buttery smooth, highly accurate, and just a complete joy to play with. So where does this mouse really excel? The modular design, the gaming experience, the software, the RGB lighting? Well, kind of everywhere. And I guess that's why it's $100, because so much thought, design, effort went into this mouse. And it's executed perfectly. It's very well thought out, and everything is customizable to fit the user's needs, and I love that. I love every aspect of it. Does it justify its $100 price tag? I actually think so. If you can spend $200 on a keyboard, I think it's easy enough to say that you can spend $100 on a mouse. And this actually gives you a reason to spend $100 on a mouse because this one's gonna last a while and it's so customizable that it makes it worth it just with that alone. The solid build quality, the lighting, the aesthetics, the gaming experience is unbelievable. Everything about it just screams high quality and I love it. So overall, would I actually recommend a $100 mouse? The logical part of me would say no. Why are you spending $100 on a mouse? But then again, the same could be said, why are you spending $100 on a keyboard? It's just a keyboard. The truth is, I'm more impulsive than just being logical. And to those of you who can afford this, I would actually recommend this mouse. The mouse is incredible, and I really can't say anything more than that. It's actually kind of blown me away because they actually made it worth $100. The plastic bags that used to house the modular parts were actually really high quality and everything about it was just high quality. So I'm sorry I haven't been able to put out a video in a couple of days on a side note. I just had a lot going on with school. It's my senior year in college and it's midterms and assignments and projects and a future job. Everything's converging in on one point. So a lot's happening right now. So I, I like to take my time and put quality and effort into each and every video and give it its own unique flavor. And with that being said, the, the thermal take case that I did a previous unboxing on the channel, which I'll put up in the card up there, I will be doing a review of that soon. That's something that takes a lot of time to really review. I really like to get to know the product, especially like a computer case, to really understand its functionality and design and every little nook and cranny into it. And also, the video itself is going to take a while. I like to put a lot of effort into a thermal take case. So if you guys haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel where we do tech reviews, unboxings, PC passion, and setup design and everything alike. So yeah, and also leave a like on the video if you liked it and dislike it if you didn't. But I wanna thank you guys for watching the video. I will catch you guys next time. Intro sounds playing. Intro, intro, intro. Look at look at the spikes over there. That's where I know the intro is.